This video shows you how to load a new waged employee into PaySource. Select employees on the left hand icon panel and on the right at the top click plus new employee. You'll see a list of information that you need to have handy before you start entering the details. Once you've got those details, click next at the bottom. Now you can see that I've entered some placebo details here. If you don't know the bank account or the IRD number, you can fill these in like this, but make sure that you revisit this area or allow uh, your new employee to go and enter these in from their phone app. If you don't know the tax code, click M for now and then make sure that it's revisited before the first pay goes through. Choose Next. At this point you might not know all of the information about the KiwiSaver for the employee, but if you do know it, pop those details in. You can also turn off the KiwiSaver if the employee is ineligible for some reason. Now you can enter in the details for the leave. This employee is paid fortnightly and he's working standard hours. He's expected to do 80 hours a fortnight over 10 days. If it was weekly, I would change it to 40 over 5. If he didn't work standard hours, I would choose varied and put in approximately the number of days I expect him to work. You don't have to fill that in, you can also put zero if you don't know it, if that employee is working such intermittent hours. But we do know that he works 80 hours over 10 days, and now I'm going to enter in how many weeks holiday he will gain each year, and the standard minimum is 4 weeks, so that goes in. Next, the rate roll for the holiday pay. We have two choices, we're going to click average weekly earnings. What this does is it allows the system to compare his ordinary weekly pay with his 52 week average weekly pay or as far back as it can see. And the higher of the two will be paid to him which is under the terms of the Holidays Act. The leave anniversary date is automatically populated to be one year from his start date. You can change this if you need to. If the company has a policy of closing down for instance at Christmas time and you expect the employees to have gained the leave at a different rollover date so you can type in what the new anniversary date should be instead. To reset the date back to his personal one just click the little round button by the date field. The remaining details below are filled into the normal standard but you can alter these if you need to. Next you can select which regional holiday should be applied to this employee. I'm going to choose Wellington for this. Next again, if you have employee payments already set up on a template, you can add these from the company. But we don't have that, so we're just going to create a new payment. Click the plus button on the top right to start a new payment. And I'm going to select hourly for him, as he is waged. The frequency is regular for him because he's on a standard 80 hours a fortnight. We don't need a template, the timesheet's turned on for him. I'm going to click reduce by leave taken, which means that if he takes any leave it's going to reduce from his standard hours, so we're not paying him twice for the same day. In the hours I'll enter what hours he's paid for fortnightly. And his hourly rate is $30 an hour. I can also enter in his work pattern which is pretty standard, it's just 8 hours each day, Monday to Friday. When I click the OK button, I can add another payment if I need to with the plus button here. I'm going to click Next, and yes I do want to send a pay slip to the employee when the pay is closed off, so I'll leave it on Yes. If the employee contributes to child support, enter in the amount that must be deducted each pay time. 
but it doesn't, so I'll turn that off and click Next again. Now if I have deduction set up in the company template, I can add them from here, but I don't, so if I want to make a deduction, I'll click Create New Deduction and the little plus button on the top right. So let's say he rents some accommodation from the company. I'm going to choose Fixed Amount and put in the title. Rent. The frequency will be until further notice in this case, and the amount will be the total that I would deduct each pay time. And this happens to be a fortnightly pay, so it is $400 a fortnight. I don't need to set up a bank account for the money to go into, but if I do want to, I can select the company account from here. Click OK for that, and Next again. The last step in the setup is to invite Bob to download the PaySource phone app and start checking his bank account, ID number, KiwiSaver details, and tax code are correct. Click the Finish button to send the email. We can see that Bob has arrived in the employee list. If we need to make changes to anything, we just select his name and make the adjustments from the template area on the right. To check that he's in the payroll, we just click on Run a Pay, and we can see here that he has made it in. If you ever find a new employee is not in the payroll automatically, go to the Edit Pencil at the top of the screen, which allows you to adjust the payroll settings. Scroll right down to the bottom and have a look. You'll see that the employee may be unticked like that. Just tick them on to be included in the payroll and click OK. And that's it. We're done.